All right, Geography peeps, let's do this. Georgia, not Georgia. Georgia, not Georgia. Georgia, not Georgia. Got it? Great. All right, so without further ado. Sakat fellow, Sakat fellow, what a nice and pleasant fellow. Georgia is one of those countries where you can kind of tell that they took history kind of very seriously when it came to developing their national symbols. First of all, the flag of Georgia is sometimes called the five cross flag because it kind of has five crosses on it. Made up of a white banner with the big red St. George cross. Keep in mind, this is the same saint that the flag of England is derived from as St. George is considered to be the patron saint of the country. Four other small red crosses occupy each quadrant that the big cross divides and are said by many to represent the five holy wounds of Christ. Now keep in mind, this flag was actually adopted in 2004. However, it was derived from the former Georgian Kingdom flag, which enjoyed about five centuries of dominance in the Caucasus region. Otherwise, Georgia went through a series of flag switches with monarchs changing things up every so often, like David the Builder with his unicorn and Tamar with her golden age. Then the Russians came and this happened. Then after independence, they used this flag, but a lot of people didn't like it because it was kind of like the exact same flag that the Russians gave them back in 1918. So then they switched it up and voila, Ah, today's flag was born. Now the coat of arms has two variants, one complicated, one simple. We're gonna cover the complicated one. Basically, the center blazon contains a red shield with an image of St. George riding a horse, trampling a dragon as St. George stabs the dragon with a spear. Fun little side note for a future episode, if you zoom in really close, you'll notice that this is the exact same image that's portrayed on the small cross in the corner of the Maltese flag. Okay, moving on. Both sides of the shield are supported by golden lions with a royal crown of Georgia on the top and a silver banner below written in the modern Mechedruli Georgian script reading Zala Ertobashia, meaning strength is unity. Now keep in mind, of course, during the years they switched up their coat of arms many times as well. Of course, during the Soviet years, you could find the hammer and sickle images all over. And at one point, the royal house had a real complicated coat of arms that had things like a harp, a tunic of Jesus, an orb, and all these curtains and angels with swords. But we're not going to get into that. Essentially, what it comes down to is Georgia uses the St. George cross, which makes things easy. But then England kind of got in on that, so they just added more crosses. Thanks for watching. This has been Flag Friday. You've just been flagged. Stay cool. Stay tuned.